Hey everyone, it's Seth, and in today's video, we are working on this brand new Chevy Corvette C8, and we're gonna be explaining everything you need to know about paint protection film, or PPF. PPF is a great way to protect your ride from rock chips, scratches, scrapes, and scuffs. Brand new vehicles are the best time to put paint protection film on because they're gonna be free of any rock chips or blemishes. We get customers all the time that don't get paint protection film on their vehicles. They wait a couple months, get a few thousand miles, and they regret not doing paint protection film. They tell us, oh man, I got a big rock chip in the middle of my hood or the middle of my bumper. I wish I would have done paint protection film. So if you don't want rock chips or scratches from damaging your car, then highly consider paint protection film. Like always, the prep is the most important part before installing paint protection film. We want to thoroughly hand wash and get all the dirt, grime, bugs, or contamination off the paint before moving on. We're going to use a clay bar to remove any contamination that might be embedded in the clear coat and make sure we thoroughly rinse and dry everything off before installing the paint protection film. This is the most important part and it's gonna dictate how well your paint protection film comes out. You don't want any dirt, debris, or contamination that might be stuck and embedded in the paint and you don't want that under your paint protection film. So paint protection film is just a clear urethane film, just like this. It's got some thickness to it. There's an adhesive layer, a middle layer, and then a top coat that can be self-healing and resist rock chips, scratches, scrapes, and scuffs to really help protect your paint. There are as many different brands and types of paint protection film on the market. They have Expel, S-Tag, Premium Shield, Kavacha, whole slew of different brands, but mostly you really want to pick a really good installer. You can use a uh, really high grade film, but a poor installation will, will look bad and not last as long. So there's, there's many different films on the, on the market. There's even fashion films, um, black PPF, you know, carbon fiber PPF. There's a whole lot of options for paint protection film. But if you have a brand new vehicle or a vehicle you really want to keep in good condition, you definitely want to consider putting paint protection film on the vehicle to help uh, protect and preserve the paint underneath. When it comes to installing paint protection film, there's two main ways of installing. You have pattern kits and you have a bulk installation. With pattern kits, we have a software and a plotter that cuts out the patterns to the paint protection film. With our software, we can pick specific vehicles and specific panels that we want our paint protection film to be cut out for. So in this case, we're working on our 2022 Chevy Corvette C8, and we're gonna take a look at which panels we wanna start cutting out. Once we decide which panel we want to cut out the paint protection film for, we are going to double check the pattern and see if we need to make any modifications to it. So on this Corvette bumper, we're just going to make a couple modifications to clean it up and make it look better. So around the Corvette uh, badge, we are going to remove the cutout for the badge and add tuck to the top edge for a clean, seamless, and better coverage on the pattern. So once we are done, Plotting out all the paint protection film and the patterns, we are going to do a process called weeding. Weeding out the paint protection film is where we remove all of the excess film that doesn't have patterns in it. This is gonna leave us with the pattern paint protection film that we actually wanna stick onto the vehicle. Once we're done weeding everything out, we're gonna start installing our paint protection film. Once we have all the film weeded out, we're gonna start applying the paint protection film. Uh, we have two different solutions for applying the paint protection film. We have a soapy slip solution that we spray under the film to keep it um, lubricated and to move around the panel freely and position it and manipulate it to where we want the film to fit. And then we have a tack solution. The tack solution um, dries out the film and makes it bite down and adhere to the panel to stick where we want it to stick. So once we have our piece of film in position, we can start squeegeeing it off and squeegeeing all the moisture out from underneath. Now 
installing paint protection film to the bumper of this Corvette. Bumpers on any vehicle can be one of the most difficult and challenging pieces of paint protection film to apply. They tend to have lots of curvature and tight, small areas that can be difficult to apply PPF to. It takes a lot of time, skill, and precision to correctly align the PPF on the panel and manipulate it to get a nice, clean fit. One of the ways that we like to go above and beyond with our PPF installs is by removing any badging, decals, or trim pieces to make our PPF look even better. So in this case, on the Corvette bumper, we are gonna take off the Corvette badge. It's really simple, just some fishing line and heat and it comes right off. We're gonna install our paint protection film and reapply the badge back on top for a super clean and seamless look. So with this carbon fiber piece on the C8 bumper trim here, they don't make a paint protection film kit for it, so we're just gonna do a custom install because these carbon fiber pieces are pretty pricey. Definitely wanna protect these. So we have to do a, a custom fit um, install uh, with the paint protection film just so we have every piece possible covered on the car. And right now we're just doing a final spray and squeegee to get any dust, dirt, or debris off. Even inside of our clean room here, you know, we have dust and dirt settle onto the panel. So we want to squeegee all of that off before we apply the paint protection film. Then we're going to apply our slip solution and get ready to put the piece of film on. Once we get the piece of paint protection film onto the panel, Make sure we have a lot of slip under there. And we're just gonna maneuver it into place. So this is one of our modified paint protection film kits. And we're just lining up some of the corners to make sure we have really good fitment. Then we can start squeegeeing it down and locking it into place. With the paint protection film, you just wanna make sure that everything gets squeegeed out very thoroughly so you don't get any air, dirt, or debris underneath the film. Once we're done squeegeeing out all the water, air, and solution from under the film, we're just going to rinse out all of the edges that are gonna be tucked with our tack solution. It's gonna help dry out any moisture or soap that's underneath, underneath the film. Um, so it's gonna dry out and then we're gonna roll and tuck the edge so everything looks really clean and seamless. So whenever you're doing paint protection film, you, you wanna ask your installer, you know, are they tucking the edges? Are they wrapping the corners? Um, ask them those types of questions because it's definitely gonna to lead to a, a better install and a better job afterwards. Once we're done installing the hood and letting everything dry out and letting all the edges dry out, we're gonna start tucking the film around the edge. Tucking the film around the edge is going to give a really clean look while providing a lot more coverage around the most vulnerable spot on the panel. Now that the paint protection film is fully installed, tucked, we double checked all of our work to make sure that the fitment is really good, that there's no dirt, debris, sand, or hair underneath the film, and to give the film almost look like it was meant to be there from factory. Um, these are some of the things that you want to look for in a high quality paint protection film job. You know, is there dirt, debris, sand, or hair underneath it? Is the fitment really good? Because in the past, we have seen jobs that just came out really poorly. So these are the things you want to look for. Are they installing in a dedicated clean room? Are they making sure your um, pieces fit well to the panel? You know, is the film clean? These are all things you want to consider when choosing a shop for a paint protection film.
So you guys are probably wondering how much does paint protection film cost? Well, paint protection film is a really skill and labor intensive service, but it is protection for your investment. Partial front packages, which include your front bumper, partial hood, partial fenders, typically around $1,200 to $1,500, depending on your installer and your area. Full front packages tend to be really popular as well, which includes your full front bumper, your full hood, full fenders, Typically your headlights and your mirrors are included as well. That package typically runs from $2,000 to $2,300 depending on the size of your vehicle and your area as well. Then you can add on rocker panels, you can add on your A-pillars, your roof strips. Those can add on easily five to $700 depending on those pieces as well. Then if you want the best of the best, you want full body paint protection film coverage for the best and maximum protection on your entire vehicle. Depending on the size of the vehicle and what parts of the vehicle are being covered, you can expect to pay anywhere from $5,000 to $10,000 plus for full body paint protection film. If you're wondering how to maintain your paint protection film, the first thing you want to know is to wait two days after picking up your vehicle before touching it or washing it. This will give the film enough time to do its initial curing and for any moisture to evaporate from underneath the film. Now, if your car is currently at a shop getting paint protection film done, it is a great time to have them install a ceramic coating. A ceramic coating is going to make it stay cleaner for longer, be easier to wash and maintain for the future. If you have questions about our ceramic coating, check out our video that we made on ceramic coatings. With paint protection film on a vehicle or any vehicle in general, you want to make sure you wash it once a week or once every two weeks to get any bugs debris or grime off the vehicle so it doesn't have time to settle in. Now with paint protection film, it is not rock trip proof or scratch proof by any means, but it is meant to be a sacrificial layer to absorb most of the damage, but damage can still occur if severe enough. With our paint protection film, it is also self-healing, so it'll help reduce the amount of swirl marks and scratches from showing up on the paint. I hope you guys found this video helpful and educational for understanding more about pain protection film and how it's installed. If you guys have a new vehicle or a vehicle you really want to protect and preserve, highly consider pain protection film. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more just like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.